and the Buddha set his monks off to teach and spread the Dharma. He gave them a brief praise of the teaching before they left. And one of the basic principles was atijite jayogo, being devoted to the heightened mind. In other words, being devoted to the practice of concentration. You're trying to lift your mind up above its ordinary level. The level of running around after sensual pleasures and trying to find a happiness, a well-being, a pleasure that's of a higher level. Less harmful, more spacious, better for the mind. For example, if you take goodwill as your object, goodwill is something we feel ordinarily for people who've done things we like. But the Buddha is asking you to raise the level of your mind and have goodwill for everybody, regardless. In other words, make your goodwill independent of what other people have done. And that takes some work. It's not the case that universal goodwill is innate in the mind. Goodwill and ill will are equally easy for the mind to feel. But you're trying to raise the level of your mind so that in the areas where you might feel ill will for others, you learn how to cancel that and actually wish for that person's well-being. The person is behaving unskillfully, hope for that person to have a change of heart. In other words, you're not going around keeping score. That way you lift the level of your mind. Otherwise you stay in the back and forth, the back and forth. This person did that to me, that person did this to me, I did that to this person. That just never ends. Unless you have goodwill for everybody. It's the same with finding pleasure with simply with the breath. Because the mind has this back and forth of feeling pain and then running to sensual pleasure. And then sensual pleasures disappoint, lead to more pain, and then you run to other sensual pleasures, back and forth, back and forth. You're trying to lift your mind up above the back and forth by giving it a better sense of well-being, what the Buddha calls the pleasure of form, the body as you experience it from within. This way you raise the level of your mind, you heighten your mind. Then you bring your mind in line with the Buddhist teachings. After all, we're here to practice the Dharma in accordance with the Dharma, not in accordance with our own preferences, our own ideas, our own background. We're trying to change ourselves so that we're worthy of the Dharma. When you have that attitude, that's when you really benefit.